CAD 22 slot 3 quantitative aptitude question number 5. In an examination, the average marks of students in section A and B are 32 and 60. The number of students in A is 10 less than that in section B. If the average marks for all students across both the section combined is an integer, then the difference between the maximum and minimum possible number of students in section A. So you have a section A where the number of students is n and the average marks are 32 and you have a section B where the number of students is 10 more. If A has 10 less, that means B has 10 more and the average score is 60. Now what is the combined average of all of them? If you calculate the combined average of all of them, you will get 32 times n plus 60 times n plus 10 upon n plus n plus 10 that is 2n plus 10 which is equal to 92 times n plus 600 upon 2n plus 10. So you can simplify this as 92n plus 600 upon in fact, I can write this as 2 into 46 times n plus 300 upon 2 into n plus 5, the 2, 2 cancels out. So, which means your average is now 46 n plus 300 upon n plus 5. I can write 46 n plus 300 as 46 into n plus 5 plus 70 upon n plus 5 which means the average will be equal to 46 plus 70 upon n plus 5. So now this has to be an integer we already see that 46 is an integer so for the average to be an integer 70 upon n plus 5 must be an integer. So what is the least value of n so that this is an integer? You can see by a mere observation, you can see that when n is equal to 2, you will get 70 upon 7 as an integer. And what is the maximum value of n which will make this an integer? The maximum value of n is, you know, the maximum value of n is n is equal to 65 because 65 plus 5 will make this 70 and 70 upon 70 is again an integer. So, in such a way, you get the least and the highest value of n. So, the difference between the maximum and minimum value of students is 63, which is your answer.